Yo, what is up everybody? It is Mile High Mac here and today we need to talk about the wide receiver room currently for the Denver Broncos after the horrible news with Tim Patrick and KJ Hamler. But before we do get started, make sure you guys like the video and subscribe for more Denver Broncos content on the channel. This is my first video and I'll be talking about everything related to the Denver Broncos. So if you are interested in that, make sure you subscribe. But let's get straight into the video. So the Broncos receiving room unexpectedly lost two players yesterday in Tim Patrick and KJ Hamler, who both are coming off major injuries. Tim Patrick tore his ACL around this time last season during training camp, and now he suffered a torn Achilles, so he will miss his second straight season due to a training camp injury, which sucks to see. You never want to see a guy go down in training camp, especially it being a non-contact injury, which it was. We haven't seen Russ and Patrick play together yet in a real game, and last season there was hype around Tim Patrick because Russ was building a good connection with him. He felt more comfortable throwing the ball to Tim Patrick than any other guy on the field. The other blow to the offense was KJ Hamler, who was recently diagnosed with a heart issue and is taking a break from football with his treatment. The Broncos waived Hamler with a non-football illness, and they could bring him back later during the season if needed. Hamler has also been injury prone as he had an ACL injury in 2021 and had a hamstring injury in 2022. So although this may seem like a huge blow to the offense, we should be just fine because of the guys we added this offseason. So obviously the two starting receivers now are Jerry Judy and Corlin Sutton. Those guys are locked. But who is going to take the number three spot? Let's take a look. These are the two main guys who will have a chance to take over Tim Patrick's spot. The first being Marvin Mims. So Marvin Mims was our first draft pick in the 2023 draft. And it was also Sean Payton's first draft pick with the Broncos. So he must really like Mims. Not only was it Payton's first pick, but the Broncos even traded up in the draft to get Mims. So that just shows how much the Broncos viewed him. Mims is going to get a big chance to play and even start in this revamped Sean Payton offense as a speedy receiver. Many people thought he was the top slot receiver in the draft. He's quick, athletic, and can make big plays down the field. And Russell Wilson is going to love that. It will make Wilson feel more comfortable with his own play style throwing deep passes. Mims has been looking good so far in camp, which is great because we are going to need him to step up. Thankfully, Sean Payton drafted Mims because the Broncos already had their guys set with Judy, Patrick, and Sutton. So the fit wasn't really there knowing the Broncos also had KJ Hamler, who was similar to Mims, but now that has changed. 2022 was a big year for Mims as he had 54 catches for over 1,000 yards and 6 touchdowns. He is going to be a playmaker for the Broncos just like he was in college where he found the end zone on over 16% of his receptions. Mims ran a 4-3-8 40-yard dash at the Combine which was tied for the third fastest of all receivers. Mims has been very consistent and has a long frame which allows him to haul in the deep passes. Marvin Mims is an explosive deep threat who can take the top off the defense which is exactly what we have been looking for. We all thought Hamler was going to be that guy but the injuries really take a toll on him so now Mims is going to become a needed field stretcher for Wilson and Sean Payton the offense Payton is bringing in is one that comes with play fakes and attacks defenses off to of the play action which Mims is very capable of doing a guy who is similar to Mims is Brandon Cooks who played under Sean Payton Cooks made an immediate impact for the Saints and had 215 catches for over 2,800 yards and 20 touchdowns what's also interesting is that the Saints traded up for Cooks just like Mims and those are the only two receivers Sean Payton has traded up for. So these are the receivers Payton has drafted in the first two rounds of the draft. Michael Thomas, Brandon Cooks, Robert Meacham, and now Marvin Mims. Yeah, those are some big, big names. Now I wanted to show you how similar these two receivers are in Marvin Mims and Brandon Cooks. So Marvin Mims is 5'11", 183. Cooks is 5'10", 188. Mims ran a 4.38 40-yard dash, while Cooks ran a 4.33 40-yard dash. Mims has a 39-inch vertical, while Cooks has a 36-inch vertical. So this is what Marvin Mims had to say about Russell Wilson after he got drafted. I feel like the deep ball is probably one of the strong points of my game. With his history, his past, the quarterback he is, and him being comfortable throwing the deep ball, that's a huge thing he does. Just being able to fit that role, whatever my role is when I get there, that will be a huge plus for me and a plus for the team. So yeah, I am super excited to see what kind of role Marvin Mims can have in this Broncos offense in year one. You never know when the rookies will have to step in and start for the team, which happened last year as well with Damari Mathis. Damari Mathis got put in when Ronald Darby tore his ACL and missed the rest of the season and Mathis really stepped up and now will be the cornerback two behind Sertan. Now the other receiver that could take the number three spot uh, which plays a little more like Tim Patrick is Marquez Callaway, who has a lot of experience with Sean Payton as the Broncos signed him in free agency this offseason after 83 catches 
for over 1,000 yards and 7 touchdowns with the Saints in a 3 year span. Callaway has been looking great so far in camp and he could be a big part of the Broncos passing attack in 2023. Callaway is a big body receiver just like Tim Patrick and has produced whenever he has given the opportunity and he's also only 24 years old which I thought was super surprising. So Marcos Callaway is a natural pass catcher with insane ball skills but he does need to improve on his route running. He does have quick feet which is good for coming off the ball and has long arms just like Patrick to secure the 50-50 balls. He did have a hard time getting separation in New Orleans, but he does have a good leaping ability and has good concentration in traffic. Another addition that got even more crucial now was the Broncos signed Little Jordan Humphrey, another player who played under Sean Payton and has been impressive so far in camp. He probably won't take Patrick's spot, but he should definitely make the 53-man roster now because he played under Sean Payton. In five years, he had 18 catches for 315 yards and three touchdowns. Humphreys played the majority of special teams, but he could be a player that gets a few reps each week. Humphreys isn't very fast, but he is not little because he is 6'4", 210, so don't get that confused with his name. He has the height to win the high point battles and also is a physical runner. So some other noticeable names on the roster is Jalen Virgil, Brandon Johnson, and Kendall Hinton, who has shown flashes in the past. Jalen Virgil had a 66-yard touchdown catch and run against the Titans this past season, and Brandon Johnson also had a touchdown, so those two guys should definitely make the 53-man roster right now. Kendall Hinton, on the other hand, has been on the Broncos for a while, so we will have to see what happens with him. The Broncos could also add another receiver to the room to get them through training camp. Some names are Jarvis Landry, Julio Jones, Sammy Watkins, and Kenny Galladay. Although they are big name players, they haven't produced on the field in the past few seasons. Now, Jarvis Landry could come in because he did play with the Saints last season, but he didn't play with Payton, but they were using the same play style as now, so it should be similar. So obviously, it sucks to see Tim Patrick go down, especially because he missed all the 2022 because of an ACL. I feel so bad for him because he is so talented, and him and Russ have had a big connection in training camp and you know they may never be on the field together tim patrick is over 30 years old with two major injuries it sucks to see him go but it may be better just to cut ties with him maybe he can restructure his contract so he gets a chance to play with rush next year but we will have to wait and see the broncos will have a lot of tough decisions to make next offseason because sutton patrick and judy are all on their final years of the contracts obviously jerry judy will stay but we will have to see what happens to sutton and patrick do they stay or do they go it will have to depend on the young guys on the roster to step up and take their role. I'm also very thankful the Broncos didn't trade Jerry Judy or Cortland Sutton this offseason because obviously there were rumors around the draft time that Judy or Sutton would have been traded. But thankfully, they're here to stay because if one of them were gone, we would be in shambles right now. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. As I said, this is my first video on the channel. I will be covering all things Denver Broncos on this channel. I will be going live for uh, games preseason games i should be live for those um i also will be making some uh youtube shorts as well so look out for those but yeah man i'm super excited to start this channel up hopefully the broncos can survive this year with tim patrick out we should be fine it's obviously a huge blow to the offense but hopefully our guys can step up i'm super excited for marvin mims he should have a big role in this offense now obviously he should also have a big role in the return game as well so yeah him and marcos callaway should have some big roles this season but that's gonna be it for today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy the video let me know your guys thoughts down below in the comments mile high mac out